Even now, I got my Xanax pill with me just in case these very uncomfortable, frightening sensations come to my head. My right eye vision has been bothering me all afternoon long, in spite of the fact that I took a Xanax 0.25 milligrams this afternoon at 1.23. I think, I hope, this is herniated bulge discs to my neck, which an MRI has revealed. Unfortunately, I can't get a freaking epidural steroid shot to my neck because I'm getting them in my back. I have to go through six more months of this hell. It's gotten progressively worse. And I beg Dr. Oz and his show to help me. In fact, I've been emailing, I've been having problems, medical problems, pain problems since 2009. Have emailed Dr. Oz countless times. I just can't get his intent, attention. What is wrong? Am I not raped? Boosting material? Well, is, is, he, is he even for real? Was he really a quack because, like Peter Papa, those false faith healers, those faith healers, they bring up people that they can make make it look like they, they cure them and tell them but they don't they won't bring up the truly crippled disabled because they know they can't cure them so they'll bring up someone who's complaining of, of arthritis saying in the name of Jesus telling them to jump around and make the devil mad knowing they're gonna go home and tomorrow wake up in the same arthritic pain Man, I'm, I, I'm starting to feel lightheaded just talking to speech. Might have to make, go take my head and take my fucking pill. What would I have to do to get your attention, Dr. Oz? Could I get someone to notice? Hi, got a megaphone. And a gun. Climbed up, climbed up, ow, that feels good. Climbed up on top of the fucking Brooklyn Bridge. Fetting to blow my fucking brains out if I couldn't get. I don't have to get on the Dr. Oz show. I just need Dr. Oz or someone to help me. Make me normal again so I can pursue my fucking dreams. Of get being, good, being a good looking guy, being a rapper someday. Getting a little cosmetic surgery. I'm so unattractive. And I want longer arms. Arm my arms so fucking short for a six foot guy. If I held up something and held myself a fucking gun for him for a whole day and night long, hey, finally surrendered. And they come up, rest me, only to find the gun was unloaded. If I went to the stock board, could at least I get killed at least. Whatever, whatever the fuck it is that's making me feel like I'm dying. Or maybe this. Or maybe I can do this. Really go up there. Hold myself a fucking gunpoint. Dust, hold up traffic. All day and all night. And finally, blow my fucking brains out. Be suicide note. Point my finger at the Dr. Oz show, tell him how sh the, the shitloads of times I, I emailed him. And Dr. Phil, I emailed him too, saying stuff like this, frightening stuff that they should call the FBI. Wouldn't that, that, wouldn't that be a total embarrassment to all these talk shows <laughs> if I did that? I could get my revenge on them for refusing to help me. But I seriously fucking need some fucking help. Fucking feel normal again. This fucking sucks, man. This sucks. And no, I'm not gonna hurt anybody else. I'm not even gonna fucking kill myself. But if I did kill myself, I'd want to do so. 
national spotlight, point my finger at these talk shows so that I can be an embarrassment to these talk shows. You fuckers never learn. Maybe I have got a brain tumor in my brain. Maybe that my stroke last Thanksgiving did mess something up in my head permanently. I need to know, because this not knowing is what's going to make me fucking kill myself. Not knowing what the fuck this is. And not being able to get some real fucking help. None of the, maybe some post-electromagnetic field therapy.